Hey guys, yours truly. I wanted to do a little memorial to a beautiful actress named Shaheen Littlefeather. She was a Native American actress and also advocate. She started movies such as uh, The Trial of Billy Jack and also Johnny Firecloud, just to name a few. But most of you may remember in 1973 during the Academy Awards, Marlon Brando sent her up on stage to instead of accept his um, Academy Award for The Godfather, but to decline it. You'll see the clip with Roger Moore about to hand her the uh, Academy Award statuette and she gracefully declined it. And the reason why she did so, she mentioned uh, that Marlon Brando had sent her to speak on his behalf that uh, uh, he was declining the award due to Hollywood's portrayal of the Native American and Westerns and other um, things that you would see on television. There were some people that booed and some people that cheered a little bit, but let me show you the clip so it'll um, bring back your memory. Hello. My name is Sasheen Littlefeather. It's been nearly 50 years since Littlefeather, then 26, took the stage in place of Brando, who won the Best Actor Oscar for The Godfather. He has asked me to tell you in a very long speech, which I cannot share with you presently because of time, but I will be glad to share with the press afterwards that he very regretfully cannot accept this very generous award. Instead, Brando wanted Littlefeather to deliver an important message on his behalf. The reasons for this being are the treatment of American Indians today by the film industry, excuse me, and on television in movie reruns and also with recent happenings at Wounded Knee. But following Littlefeather's act of protest, she was blacklisted from the industry. But as you can see, she was wearing a beautiful outfit. Uh, it was from um, the Apache Indians, which she was wearing. But, uh, you know, some, they said she was ushered off of the stage quickly and uh, she was treated badly. And I'll even show you a, a little clip of right afterwards, the great Clint Eastwood had something derogatory to say about uh uh, Shaheen's appearance. Let's show you the clip. Mr. Clint Eastwood. Eastwood. Wow. Wow, wow. I don't know if I should present this award on behalf of all the cowboys shot in all the John Ford westerns over the years. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Well, anyway, it took until 2002 for the Academy Awards to finally apologize. So you're talking about near 50 years for them to issue some type of statement of saying, we're sorry the way you were treated that evening. And um, so that was really back in July when a letter was sent to her. And I believe in September uh, of this year, 2022, she... Um, address the uh, arts and science uh, the academy of arts and sciences um about the apology so i'm glad she finally got that and let me show you the clip of some of the stuff that she said that day a historic event as the motion picture academy celebrates native americans and issues a long-awaited apology a Native American artist, or activist rather, is finally redeemed and honored after a cringe-worthy event at the 1973 Oscars. Fox 11's Hal Eisner was with Sashin Littlefeather this week as she talked about the pain of that night. I'm an elder now, an Indian elder woman. And even though I've made a lot of mistakes, I've led a good life. Sashin Littlefeather, now 75, reflects on a life that included this at the 1973 Academy Awards. Hello, my name is Sashin Littlefeather. I'm Apache and I'm president of the National 
Native American Affirmative Image Committee. In my heart, I ask the ancestors to pray for me. And I knew that they were with me that night. As she refused, as instructed by Marlon Brando, to accept his best actor Oscar for The Godfather. I knew that I was doing the right thing. She called out the way Native Americans were portrayed in movies and treated in this country, and she was booed by many in the audience. I felt a lot of people did not understand. She says she was subjected to insults as she left the stage. And one of them was... And she got tomahawk chops. But it wasn't until now that she's getting an apology and a night honoring her at the Academy Museum. It's never too late for forgiveness. She's right. It's never too late for forgiveness. Quana Chasing Horse is an activist and model and has looked up to Little Feather and watched her video repeatedly for her own strength. She says times have changed and things are better. And I think that's because of her. I think she set that great example to um, speak and be proud. And I had to speak the truth from my heart. And to the Academy for its apology. Thank you. Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News. Now let's fast forward to October of this month. She unfortunately passed away on October the 2nd at age 75 due to uh, blood cancer. Uh, some of the statements said that it was a long battle with breast cancer. So I was very sad, but I'm glad she got her roses and her um, apology after all these years, 49 years later. And uh, she is buried in Oklahoma at uh, a Indian uh, burial ground but I want to at least share this information with you and that being a trendsetter a lot of people forget about you and you you're forgotten or ostracized by society but I wanted her to have her mo moment and uh, I salute you Shaheen Littlefeather and also Marlon Brando to letting her have that bit of time in the spotlight about that if you like this video please subscribe down below and feel free to leave any comments about shaheen little feather and marlon brando and the rejection of the academy award back in 1973. i'm representing marlon brando this evening he very regretfully cannot accept this very generous award Saw Sheen Littlefeather, the Native American activist who famously declined Marlon Brando's Oscar in 1973, has died. She was 75 years old. I have said to myself oftentimes that I never wanted to be bored in life, and I never have been bored in my life. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences announced Littlefeather's death on Twitter. According to The Hollywood Reporter, she died on Sunday in Northern California after a long battle with breast cancer. Sasheen Littlefeather. The actor John Wayne reportedly attempted to remove Sasheen from the stage, but was restrained by six security guards. Clint Eastwood mocked Littlefeather later in the ceremony. In August, the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences finally apologized to her. Just three weeks before her death, she spoke an event organized by the Academy, talked about the night 50 years ago when she w arrived at the Academy Awards before that famous speech. It was about 20 minutes to, to nine o'clock. And here the security guards found this couple, myself in a buckskin dress and his secretary dressed in an evening gown. We must have looked like the odd couple. <laughs> and I'm sure they were wondering, why are we dressed like that? And why are we here? So the guards consulted the head executive producer of the Academy Awards, Howard Koch. And so he came up and he talked to us. And 
if Secretary Ellis had the official invitation for Marlon Brando. So he said, okay. And he told me right then, if you read that speech and you go over 60 seconds, I will have you put in handcuffs. You see those police over there? I will have you arrested, put in jail. And he said, you have 60 seconds or less to represent Marlon. I said, okay. And I had made this promise to Marlon not to touch that Oscar. And so, you see, I wasn't under any pressure that night. <laughs> I knew that the Creator was with me. I had prayed to my ancestors to be with me that night. And it was with prayer that I went up there. I went up there like a proud Indian woman, with dignity, with courage, with grace, and with humility. And as I began to walk up those steps, I knew that I had to speak the truth. Some people may accept it, and some people may not. At the Academy event in September, Sashin Littlefeather went on to talk about the significance of receiving an apology from the Academy. In response to that apology, I want to say in 1973, I was a 26-year-old Indigenous woman, a member of the Screen Actors Guild. Very few people of color were finding their way through an impractical society that deliberately set out to erase the existence and diversity of Native peoples. Through genocide, oppression, and the unwavering efforts for Indian self-determination, our generation rem re remained hard at work. And we were not the only ones. In 1973, I fulfilled the request of a friend and ally. Marlon Brando asked that I attend the ceremony in his place and refuse the Oscar for Best Actor for the role in The Godfather. And so I did. I knew the impact and the importance of representing all Native people on that night. It was critical for the psyche of all our relations to bring awareness to and interrupt the negative interpretation and representation of Native American people by the film, television, and sports industries. Marlon and I knew it urgent to highlight the 1973 American Indian Movement AIM, Occupation of Wounded Knee, South Dakota. They were experiencing a media blackout. Supposedly, Wounded Knee, South Dakota, was a site where a U.S. missile base was going to be built. I, more than anyone, know the impact of what 60 seconds at the Academy Award can mean then and now, 50 years later. I have developed a strong sense of self, community, and a good sense of humor. <laughs> Laughter is good medicine. I come from an ancestral matrilineal society 
where women are leaders, role models, and teachers of peace, love, harmony, humility, humanity, truth, conversation, and a coming together in our sacred circle of unity. Other may, others may choose to follow in our ways. I am here accepting this apology, not only for me alone, but as the acknowledgement, knowing that it was not only for me, but for all of our nations that also need to hear and deserve this apology tonight. Sasheen Littlefeather, speaking in September. She died at the age of 75 on October 2nd.